Welcome everyone to White Falcon Plays. Today we're checking out Vern, The Shape of Fantasy. It's an early access look, it's a demo from Steamfest. So we'll check this out. It's a story rich puzzle adventure. Let's have a look what it's all about. Might just uh, turn the sound down slightly. In we go. Empty slot. It is October of 1887 in an alternate Earth called Chimera. You are Jules Verne, not the writer you know, but a scientist trapped in the middle of a dystopian world war. After a shipwreck and being cast away in a nightmarish mystery island, you have been rescued by a sea monster made of iron. The Nautilus. Inside the submarine vessel, the technology of which is decades beyond your time, you have met the brilliant but fearsome Captain Nemo and his crew. He is fascinated by the image, an ancient device you found on the island, which has the amazing ability to change reality using the power of imagination. And it only works with you. According to Nemo, you and the image could change the course of the war against the nation. To prove it, the captain will invite you to an underwater search of a secret kept by the depths of the sea for thousands of years. Eighteen eighty seven, Mediterranean Sea. Okay, we can move, we can shift to run. Press Q to start playing. Nemo and his philosophy books. Schopenhauer. It's a shame that the nation killed him because of his ideas. Okay, I'm just gonna... See if I can... Uh, it doesn't look like I can change the sound anymore because the sound's a bit higher and the voice is a bit low, but... We'll go with it. I should speak with Nemo before. I don't want to seem impolite. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Love the art style for sure. This katana was a gift from the Empire of the Rising Sun to the captain for his aid against the nation. Mr. Vern, I am glad to see you in better shape. Thanks, Captain. I've been here only for a few days, and I'm still getting used to this... marvel. I'm glad you like it. I've been thinking. The Atlantean priests from Placea's cult believed that there were individuals blessed by her who were more sensitive to her influx. Perhaps you are one of them, and that's why you were able to find the artifact of imagination. Atlantis? I thought that was a myth, a tale for children. You have had evidence of their existence in your hands. How do you make it work? <laughs> I'm not sure that I make the iMac work. Rather, I would say it reacts to events. That's interesting. Do you fancy an underwater walk? I have a job for you. A walk? Under the sea? Of course. Okay, look at this organ, that's massive. Very cool. The Nautilus. Where are you taking me, Captain? I can see ruins in the distance. You are going to witness a great milestone of my journey. Follow me. Unlike other locations, you can't run under the sea. Okay. The steam oxygenator of my back allows normal breathing. Lead soles keep me on the ground, but they slow me down. But these views are so captivating. Cedric has asked us to find some specific algae for his research. 
I don't know if I could even recognize them with this helmet on. New side missions, hope. Find three algae, okay. Pearl. My goodness! She's a beauty, isn't it? Really impressive. That pearl must be worth a fortune. Do you want to take it? No. I just wanted to show it to you. Who are we to interrupt a life cycle that has been growing for years, creating layers with each secretion it produces? Why? To sell the pearl? To write a book about the discovery? By chance, is our fame more important than nature itself? Let's move. Okay. Oh. Algae filium cromosa. I hope you helped Cedric with the vaccine. One of three, maybe. A little crabby. Oh, it's like he's bowing to me. Oh, are we going down? I should speak with Nemo before. Can you feel the heat rising from underground? We must move carefully. Lava is still flowing among the ruins. Where are we, Captain? You are beholding the remains of a pre-Hellenic temple dedicated to Placea, the Atlantean goddess. What? We spotted it months ago. This cult survived the fall of Atlantis and thrived for a few years in the primeval Greece. In their mythology, they linked together the flame of Hephaestus with Placea. We believe there might be hidden information here about the flame location. Believe? Didn't you enter? We explored it for weeks in order to make a safe way to the center of the temple. However, when we reached the doors that guard it, it was impossible for us to open them. I'm surprised that you didn't blow them away. Do you think that I am like one of these brutes from the nation? I never destroy what I don't know. This temple is unique. It must be preserved, not destroyed. At that moment, we couldn't stay any longer. The Nautilus was needed for the war many miles away from here. But now is different. You and the IMAG are here. Fascinating. <laughs> okay. Might be uh, another one of these uh, quest items down this way, maybe? There I see the algae Cedric needs. The IMAG is an Atlantean <coughs> sorry, capable of detecting cracks in the reality, making small rewrites at specific moments in case things get difficult for you. Wow. IMAG offers logical choices. Explore the world to get more options. Select one, but be careful not all of them have a happy ending. What? Big collapse. The stones couldn't hold more and collapsed. Well done. Now you must wait for the iMag to recharge. If you choose wrong, the iMag may go back a short time. But beware, it doesn't happen often. Happy rewriting. What? Wait, how do I do it all? Uh, what keys have we got? Interact back. Open IMAX C, which it just told me. Okay. How do I change? Oh. Ah, here we go. But what happened? There was barely anything left. So how 
has is a very thin base. Because I want to try and get to that, but I can't get in. Okay, I'll try it again. The base was so eroded by the years of pressure that it finally collapsed. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Passion for science. In the night in the 1850 decade as the Audiences did. Julius Verne was enthusiastic with every new discovery brought by science. From fossils that showed glimpses of the ancient times and Earth, to astronomy advances. Many writers, like e Edgar Allan Poe and his pr precise description of Antarctica, from his novel The Narrative of Arthur Gordon Prime of Nantucket, 1838, were also inspired by the discoveries of their time. But Verne's passion for science stands out for its attention to detail and the, for the wide range of sub subjects. One of the best examples of this is Journey to the Centre of the Earth, Voyage, on Centre de la Terre, 1864. In this book, all of the adventures and fantasy represented by dinosaurs, subterranean oceans and volcanic activities is based on the geological knowledge of the 19th century. Since Verne included a lot of information gathered from scientific divul divulgation, divulgation, books, discovery, news, and travel logs, for instance, the spectacular battle between a Plesiosaurus and an Ichthyrosaurus, <laughs> described in the novel, is based on the first illustration of a prehistoric scene, what is known now as Paleoart. Painted in 1830 by Henry de la Birch, inspired by the discovery of paleontologist Mary Annie. Okay. I won't read all of it. So it's kind of cool. So you get lots of things that you can read and find out information. Let's head down and see how it goes. We might have missed one of our side quests, or it might be down here. Big octopus or kraken? It's amazingly terrifying. True. In some cultures, the octopus and its tentacles are linked with the spiral of creation and creativity. Fascinating. I'm going forward. Take your time to contemplate this wonder. I'll wait at the Opisthotomus entrance. Follow the lifeline. Meet him at the... On Domus entrance. Okay. So this is a lifeline, isn't it? No cracks. Okay. Don't know if you had that car, sorry, but some traffic goes by sometimes. Alright, here's our last one for our quest. I now have all the algae for Cedric. Nice. I barely see nothing. The lamp of Nemo's expedition doesn't work anymore. The wire has been cut by the nibbling of some sea creature. If I had the tools, it would be easy to repair. Okay. Sharp teeth. The wire resisted the sea creature's curiosity and kept withstanding. Seems like some object on its way to the moon. What kind of place is this? A journey to the moon. Okay. Another piece of relic. So it hasn't been 
mean too much puzzle aspect so far. It's just choosing a a different um, outcome. Lava down there. What's this thing here? Generator or something? This ancient Greek tests my knowledge. But I can read that this is the first part of three of the Primordials' story. Okay. Primordials. Here, yeah. something came up. No. Whoa. the nice sturdy bridge over the lava. This is magnificent. Aside from Nemo and his crew, I'm the first human being that has rested his eyes on these views in thousands of years. If only I could explore them. Of course there's a whole city over there. tanks. Can I take a few more too? Okay. I'll continue on. Aren't we gonna take take this thing back? No? Okay. In we go. Um Vern, are you alright? Yes. A bit frightened, but in one piece. The iMag is outside. Yes, but it has turned off. There must be a way to activate again this mechanism. Wait a moment. There's an inscription here. Four victories to open these gates. It must allude to four tests. You have enough oxygen. Explore the hall and take the tests. I am sure that they will reveal what we are looking for. But what if I don't make it? And if I run out of oxygen? Mr. Verne, surrender is not an option at the Nautilus. We can't tear down these gates without compromising the whole building structure. Your only way out is solving those trials. I believe in you. Okay. Look at the maze room. I found a new inscription. To open the forge of Hephaestus, you must fire up its four flames. It must allude to the four doors in front of me. Forge of Hephaestus? Mr. Verne, we are on the right path. Go on. I feel heavy in this wetsuit, and it begins to be hard to breathe. You are making a great effort in your first underwater walk. Did I tell you when I faced the Kraken? Don't patronize me. It makes me sick. If you vomit, you will drown. Focus on opening the doors. Get panicked. Okay, it's the maze room. It's open. 
See if we can solve the mystery. Very eerie silence. But awesome pixel art. In we go. I enter the first door. Okay, what well we got? Farming. The volcano. What did you see inside? Wonderful things. Great description. <laughs> A volcano on an island. Hephaestus's place, I guess. It reminds me of Prometheus's tale. The one who stole fire from the gods to favor mankind. Nevertheless, here is Placea, the one that steals the flame. This is Placea's myth. We don't know for sure what Atlanteans believe in, but the descriptions that have made it to us associate the flame of Hephaestus with Placea's ability of arousing imagination, being that the origin of Atlanteans' great power. Arouse imagination? You mean, like muses do? Exactly. Yeah, we've got fossils in the ground up there, lava flowing it through. Oh, here's the maze button. A labyrinth. I must rotate it to link the lines with the flame. Okay. Rotate is R and T. There we go. <laughs> it's very happy. Okay, so that's the first challenge. Not too hard, not too hard. The first trial is completed. A liquid has appeared on the walls. Oh, yeah. It looks like the Nautilus's blue blood. What I'd give to see what you are seeing. Make haste. Oxygen is not endless. Your paternalism will suit me quite well now. Tell me about the Kraken. I made it up. Krakens aren't real. We'll do one more little puzzle here. From what I see and understand from these inscriptions, Placea ventured inside the forge of Hephaestus and managed to get his great flame. With its power, she expected to free mankind, providing them with the gift of imagination. Okay, the goddess spreads out what seems to be the energy rays, like the sun. But being a woman, she's related to the moon and her creative power. Thus, the answer to this enigma must be related to the moon cycle. Each one must mark a ray extension. I hope that means something to you. Okay, adjust the height of the rays in the correct order. So, one is, uh, I guess the, the little dots are how much it should be rate, so that's one, oh, I can't actually go to the other ones, okay, so this one is three, E is increase. Mm. I must fill in the rays in the correct order to prevent their closing. Okay, so we want to go for this one first and increase it by two. And then this one, increase it by two. And then down here, one. And how do I get, okay, both at once. This one's one, and then this one is two. This one, oh, oh, I got it wrong, did I? 
Oh, it's the other way. My bad. Okay. Two. Two. One. One. Two. You can hear the breathing in the background there. Okay, so it's this one down here. Three, and then up here is one, and then this one's three. Nice. Submit. Yes! Okay, I think we'll leave it there for this Let's Try. Just wanted to give you a glimpse of the gameplay, visuals, and story aspects. The pixel art is really beautiful. And it looks like there's a lot of story you can delve into with this game. The puzzles seem a bit easy. They might be more focused on telling a story rather than as a puzzle game. But then again, this is only just the start, so they'll probably ramp up as in difficulty as you progress through the game. Uh, the story looks like it's quite in depth. It would definitely be interesting to see where it takes it. Um, throughout the whole game. If you're interested, I recommend checking out the demo for yourself. You can read all the information and progress further in the game. Okay. Well, if you're interested in the game, don't forget to wishlist it on Steam. And I will leave a link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, White Falcon out.